We can see the main connections of CT1 EVO board. The red connector on the right is the power supply 230 volts. Here we can notice some terminals. Uh, the most important are L7 and L8. Uh, these two terminals are the connections for the photocells, photo 1, L7, and photo 2, L8. Photo 1 are the photocells installed in the inside of the gate. Photo 2 are the photocells installed on the outside of the gate. They both have a reference to common L11, so they are normally close to L11. It's important to remind that if these terminals are not used, we can see in a later video that it's not necessary to shortwire them, but it's enough to go inside the menu and disable the terminals. Uh, here we can see the main power supplies Z1 and Z2. This is 24 volt AC and it's used for power up accessories like, uh, for example, the photocells. Between Z4 and Z5, we have the connection for electrical lock uh, tw uh, 12 volts. H1 and H2 are the connections for the flashing light. It's a 230 volts flashing light. Then we can see, as we already saw in the videos for the connection of the motors, H3, H4 and H5 are the connections for motor 2. H6, H7 and H8 are the connection for motor 1. Uh, to finish, uh, I want to remind that uh, this terminal is in the connection for the radio receiver that uh, uh, it's not included in the board, uh, but it's accessory.